Hi there, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, the next project is the lower engine mount. So stop the uh, motor twisting backwards and forwards. Uh, you can feel a little bit of slop on there. Uh, since I've put the pedal box on the car, I notice a hell of a lot. There's a lot of um, clonkingness going on with the motor. So what I've decided to do is, uh, well, I actually emailed the PowerFlex two years ago and asked them if they made a poly bush for that mount and they never got back to me. But recently I've just seen a post from someone in Norway, I believe it is, who's put one on his car. So brilliant. Um, <laughs> to myself, I reached out to PowerFlex and they said, yep, we do it. So uh, 62 pounds later, here it is. So what you've got here is the two inserts, which will, you'll cut off the in, inner bush. I'll, I'll show you when I take it off the car and then uh, pop this on believe you don't have to use these inserts in here but it makes it a lot more stiffer i think they do a black version of this as well which uh, i was interested in because i want it as stiff as possible but um yeah well uh go to the car and uh, see if we can pull off the arm and put these in and hopefully it will stiffen things up quite a lot all right let's go and get this fitted on the car then Looks like the rain is about to come down, so good to go in the garage. Right, just uh, right, we we'll looking to. Uh, hopefully, we'll have to take any panels off. We'll soon find out when we get under there. Tools I believe we need are going to be a Torx, so it'll probably be one of these, probably a Torx 13 I should imagine. Let's jump under there and have a look. I'm going to try and do this one handed so it's not going to be two. That's what we want to get to, that one there. So we've got to undo these three bolts. Uh, one there, one there and one there, and that's the bush we're going to be removing, that one. So it's not too mucky under here, and I'm glad you don't have to take off any covers. Alright, so what we're going to do is undo the 13mm bolt, which is going to be this one here. It's just a matter of I'm doing the other two bolts and that should just pop off then. I'm going to say they're nice and long, just open get it out the other side. Really get sorry not a 13 you know, I said 13 <laughs> I think it's an 18 mil let's put a lock type or something on this one because it's uh, Some of, you, some of you may know I've got a pedal box on the car which basically alters the, uh, the curve of the accelerator and believe me it's really made this thing a lot more responsive hence so that's why I want to do this it's a shame because I don't think there's anything wrong with this now but if it's a modification we definitely have to do that see the motor Move down there, and there's just this one. That's a tight little bugger, that one. I'm just going to 
make sure it doesn't fall on the phone screen and smash it. see it's quite a lot of movement there all right let's get this push out well right, as you can see here I'm gonna go around it with a scalpel just to try and cut down as far as I can go and it's gonna work as the blades are a bit thin all right after a lot of blood and swearing which is finally going to come out well right you have to take it out in stages so I've got one section out you can see here Very sharp. Oh, a little bugger. And we'll see if it'll come out. It's trying. There you go. One mount ready to be cleaned up. Alright, uh, yeah, just, just try and be careful if you use a scalpel, not to. These are quite sharp. So, um, you could do yourself quite an injury nothing a bit of super glue won't sort out right i'll just clean this up and i'll uh, show you the installation right so just give this a bit of a clean up As you can see, the, um, these rubbers will go in there and on the other side and you'll just pop the um, shaft in there, let's try a bit of lubricant. Yeah, I think you've got to watch out as well. These are these are offset, so you're um, they're not exactly right in the middle. So if you put that in that way, you end up with a few problems. But just put in. Yeah, they're not too difficult to put in. There you go. I can try and see if we can just clean the blood off there. Let's see if we can. Uh, I'll put this on the car. As you can see here, the, the original one is only a, only a small part inside there. That uh, It's quite flimsy, actually. I did ask the guys at BMW to check that um, in January for the outer warranty um, check. But they said, oh, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. But driving the car, you could feel the... The motor was used quite a lot of play in it and it should assist with the uh, regen as well so when you're decelerating there won't be no movement so you'll probably get um, a lot more better feel on it all right let's go and pop this in the car then all right all right to get this one on it's a bit of a bit of a pain in the backside it is but it's on now so i just have to bring this one up 
I'm going to move a pain in the backside. That's it. That's it. That's it now. Now we've just got to put all the bolts back together. I believe these uh, bolts, you have to tighten up to 100 meters. So, to go for the black version which is a lot more, a lot more stronger. The reason um, a lot of people don't go for that is because obviously when you've got a combustion engine you've got a lot of um, vibrations. Luckily on this you don't have any, any vibrations because it's a motor. bolts all along. strong. Well, I'll just talk these up and uh, that's about the end of the video I should imagine. It's, uh, it's on. It's a fairly quick job. Just have to watch you don't cut yourself when you're taking the uh, the old push out. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll probably give you an update and let you know how it is.